about the tools available to a manufacturer to understand their customers better, Blue Vault is one of those tools. It's not just a learning management system. It's a way to understand the commitment that a, a customer like a distributor has to your organization. For example, these are some of the insights we gained when we looked at the comparative year to year, year over year data. What did one learner, why did one stop taking the courses after one quarter, right? And, and one year, he just stopped. Or did the person leave? The only way you're gonna answer that is with an overlay. You gotta get on the phone and find out. But you won't know that from just looking at a dashboard. You have to pull it into Excel, analyze it. One of the things we use, for example, is what they call RFM analysis, recency, frequency, monetary value of any data set. It doesn't have to be learners of the learning management system. It could be your customers. It could be whatever. Recency means the most recent purchase when you take a data set and sort it by most recent. Frequency means the one who buys often, who takes a lot of courses, perhaps. And then monetary value is the one who's worth more to you than the other people. And it's the same data set, but you're sorting it three different ways. And guess what? When you sort it three different ways, it's never, it's very rarely the same person. At right. the top. And don't and don't overrule the bottom. The bottom is very important. We used to have um, <laughs> we used to walk into a client when I was in direct response and say, give me your dead file. And the client would say, this is a big client, a major company. And what's a dead file? What's I said, the, the company, you know, it's the dead file. People who don't buy from you anymore. I'm sure you know who they are. Of course, you don't want to embarrass the client, but when they they would say, well, smarty pants, what are you going to do with the dead file? I said, well, I'm going to bring them back to life. Well, how are you going to do that? I said, I'm going to just send them some information because I assure you, you haven't talked to them in a while. Not only is that true, ladies and gentlemen, that bottom of the file represents sometimes your best hope for the future because there's a reason why they're on the bottom. And it's up to us as marketers to find out that reason. For example, what are commonalities do you find between enrollees, between the most common, the most popular courses, vice versa, from the unpopular courses? What are what are the commonalities of the people taking those courses? Why did one learner take a product training course on a product they don't even sell? What the heck is that all about? Well, how do you know they don't sell it? Well, we looked at their website. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is investigative reporting at its very best. So if you have natural curiosity, if it really, it drive, like it drives me mad to find out answers and the truth, I want the truth. And you find out that somebody is taking the courses and you look at their website and you do not see your products on that person's website, on your customer's website, you got to pick up the phone and ask what's going on. And it's only one of two, there's only one of two conclusions. One. Right? That person is obviously just after the money. <laughs> or two, he's making a career change and he wants to learn about your products. That, that's really the answers. Anyway, there, there was one learner that started 11, but, only, but he only completed three. And why was that? Well, when we, when we chatted him up and worked with the client, it's because they moved him out of that area and he was no longer selling that product set. Go figure. You know, sometimes people move around. You know, it's not, the data will tell you what happened and it's up to us to find out why it happened. That's mm -hmm. really the key to this puzzle.